Astronomers have discovered evidence of the first light from some of the first stars among the farthest and oldest physical objects in the universe. Using a simple radio antenna and a great deal of careful measurement, they have effectively seen farther back than even the Hubble Space Telescope. These stars emerged from the smoldering embers of the Big Bang. They lit the sky for the first time, and the early cosmos began to transform from an era of pitch black emptiness, astronomers call the Dark Ages, into the brilliant menagerie of galaxies, stars, and planets that we now recognize. Their discovery was not done with a huge complex observatory, but with this, an antenna not much larger than a tabletop. More than 12 years ago, a small team of investigators, including Alan Rogers and Judd Bowman, a graduate student at the time, realized that such an antenna coupled with an exquisitely sensitive receiver could probe the early universe. As a postdoc, Judd proposed to the National Science Foundation to build this experiment. The foundation took a risk on this innovative idea. For Alan, here was a challenge that would test his experience making sensitive radio wave measurements against a signal that some experts thought would be impossible, too faint to find. Alan disagreed. He thought it could be done. Before the first stars, the universe was dark, cold, a tenuous and unlit gas of mostly hydrogen awash in a sea of background radiation, a cosmic afterglow from the Big Bang that included some radio waves. Astronomers theorized that starlight from the first stars to light up the universe would excite this hydrogen gas and cause it to absorb the surrounding radio waves at one particular frequency. Problem is, due to the expanding universe, this absorption would be observed at some lower frequency, unknown. Finding that frequency, finding the absorption that comes when the first stars turn on would be like listening to every station on your car stereo at once and being able to tell that your favorite one is missing. Alan and Judd realized that a small team armed with their single antenna and sensitive receiver might be enough to detect the signal not from a particular direction but averaged over the whole sky. They would need to set up in a remote place far from radio interference so they traveled to the desert of Australia to deploy their antenna and listen to the sky. But even in such a pristine location, this signal is fantastically faint. Our galaxy alone is booming with radio wave noise 10,000 times louder than any faint whisper from the distant universe. For Alan, Judd, and their team, finding the impact of the first stars and that cacophony would be like trying to hear the flap of a hummingbird's wing from inside a hurricane. After several years of improving their apparatus, they found hints of a signal in early 2016. But given the excruciating challenge of a detection, how could they be sure it was real? Good science is an adventure, but it is also careful, methodical. So the team spent more than a year ruling out other possible explanations for what they had found. They expanded the ground plane beneath their antenna. They deployed a second antenna. They changed its orientation. They improved the calibration. They even ruled out interference from the sun and the moon. In the end, their detection remained. It was real. With this new discovery to guide them, large research collaborations will hunt for and study variations in the hydrogen signal and map the early universe in minute detail. These experiments will use arrays of hundreds of antennas and complex data processing and hundreds of hours of observing. Those collaborations were conceived before knowing for sure if that signal could ever be found, and if so, at precisely what frequency. Now, thanks to Alan, Judd, and their team, they know. Astronomers are filling in a missing chapter in how the universe evolved from the Big Bang. We are piecing together how, over billions of years, matter evolved from this into this. In a surprise twist to the story, the signal this team has found is twice as large as models predicted, meaning that absorbing gas in the early universe was colder than we thought possible. Could dark matter provide an explanation? Maybe. Either way, with this discovery, now we know when the universe emerged from the dark ages into cosmic dawn.